In this deal, we acted for a group of lenders who were lending money to a borrower called First Quantum Limited. And First Quantum is a mining company that owns assets, that's mines, throughout the globe. And it was a loan of $3 billion. And First Quantum were going to use this money to fund their expansion plans and their existing ongoing requirements in the various different mine sites across the globe. It was quite unusual for two reasons. Firstly, the size of the deal. So Taking the two facilities, um, the aggregate loan amount was $3.35 billion, which is quite huge. Um, and the second reason it was unusual is probably because of the number of jurisdictions involved. So we dealt with within countries uh, in every continent. So Mayor Brown got this deal because we have a premier finance practice and also a speciality in the mining sector. And as the borrower was a mining company, they needed someone who understood the mining industry, as we do. Um, they also came to us because we acted for the lender group on a similar financing back in 2006 when I was an associate. And so they naturally came back to us because they knew us from that transaction. My role initially was as a sort of assisting role, helping to check and um, follow up queries with various documents. But as time went by, I took on the ownership of the completion checklist and helped to follow up with all of the outstanding documents that required in the deal. It became quite an administrative task because dealing with 32 countries over 14 jurisdictions required quite a lot of coordination. So that was mainly my role, I would say. My role in the transaction was very much as a project manager. Uh, coordinating documents which had to be agreed between external counsel in the 14 jurisdictions. So we were working with people in Australia who were nine hours ahead of us and Peru who were six hours behind us. So based in England we had to coordinate them so they all came in at the same time. So working across a number of jurisdictions is always very challenging, both from uh, the time zone aspect. So we had some companies that were in Peru on one end of the scale and other companies in Australia, so on the day of closing it was very challenging to coordinate all those different um, countries and have them produce their documents on time. There were also different nuances brought about by all the different countries, for example Zambia has some very unique requirements in terms of signing documents and where they can be signed. So we had to recognise each of those different challenges and try and find a way to address them. Uh, the Zambian facility was dealt with separately because the Zambian company was involved in a separate project which had its own particular financing needs. So the Zambian facility was used to refinance some existing debt of that company and it was also needed for the day-to-day -day business needs of the Zambian borrower. It was very easy to get up to speed with this deal, partly because I'd been involved in a related transaction with one of the group companies immediately before but also all the associates and Rachel were very happy to sit down and discuss all the details. The highlight of the deal for me would definitely be dealing with the Zambian registrations. There's a law in Zambia that requires all documents signed in or out of Zambia to be authenticated according to its provisions and as we had the majority of the signatures in France we had to adhere to the requirements for French signing. This meant taking the notary's signature to the French embassy in Zambia in order for it to be authenticated Unfortunately, the Zambian one was now closed and we had to go to the French embassy in South Africa. Luckily, they were able to provide us with what we wanted and it was a great relief. The highlight of the deal was definitely the closing in Paris. Myself and an associate jumped on a very early Eurostar uh, and I coordinated the signing of the documents in French, which I hadn't spoken for many years, and I very much deserved my glass of champagne at the end. <laughs>